Hi guys and welcome to my May clothing haul. I've decided to this time split up my hauls because there's so much stuff. So I have a accessory beauty kind of haul and this is clothing. So let's begin. So the first item is this beautiful handmade bralette by Natasha Hutchins and I just love this print. It's been so popular that she sold out and people saw I got this on Depop and were messaging me to buy it off me. She found she had enough to make one more bralette so we decided we're going to do a giveaway. She can make the lucky winner one of these bralettes in this print UK sizes 4 to 14. So I'll leave all the descriptions for our giveaway down below. Her price point is really reasonable. For this it was £11. It kind of varies between 11 and 14 depending on the fabric. So on Wednesday I'm going to London because it's the Company Style Blogger Awards and thanks to you guys I'm nominated for Best Personal Style Blog. So we're going to find out who the winner is and I'm just thrilled to be nominated. I'm so excited just to hang out with all my friends there and also I'm going to finally meet some bloggers that I've spoken to via the internet for so long and I just couldn't decide what to wear. So I've got two items and I want you guys to choose what I'm going to wear. This this is the first dress. It's a lovely, lovely pastel blue colour and the lace front cinches in at the waist, sticks out the lovely skater skirt and it's got layers so it really does stick out. A super low back which I thought is so nice. The only trouble is I have been sunbathing and I have a nice band of white across my back and this was $34.99 which I thought was re really reasonably priced and also people have asked what kind of bra do you wear with this? They even have them in Primark, they're £5, they just stick on, there's no back to them although I did notice if you get a little bit sweaty they do move so be warned. And this is the other dress, again it's $34.99, it's got this beautiful lace design and again it's got a nice cinched in waist and a skater skirt with lots of layers so it does really stick out lace over the back but I just can't decide which one to wear so please help me guys which one which one should I wear and the last item from Misguided is this gorgeous kimono it's velvet as well it's got these tassels at the bottom but I wore this for a night out and I met someone I've actually forgotten his name that's really awkward but I'm gonna a picture he's a knight in Game of Thrones and I was just like ah and these catch on people because they're looped so I'm not sure whether if I cut them will they fray but I have really like pulled one and I had to cut some because I had some really really long ones and that just looked ridiculous and this was $29.99 of course I went to Topshop and I got of course the bralette because I'm addicted to bralettes at the moment and I love the check design of this and this one was £18. Then I spotted this beautiful top. I really, really love cobalt blue. I think it's a colour I need to add more to my wardrobe. And I love the detail of the back. These straps are so, so nice. And this was £26. From Motel Rocks, I got three things. Faux leather design. And I really like how at the sides, there's this kind of like, ooh, peekaboo. Again, faux leather, but kind of like a different material. Ooh, and there's pockets as well. But I really love the style of these, and these are £45. This top is the start of a trend in this haul. I love kind of palm tropical prints, it seemed, a lot last month. This was £18, and look at the back. It's so, so nice. If you didn't know, Motel Rocks also stock other brands, and I was browsing through New Inn, and they had some Dot Martin sandals and they had them in black or they had them in gold so I went for gold these are £95, they are leather and they are amazing I do like how chunky they are when I break them in like they'd be quite good festival attire I really like that they were gold, it was something quite different and I think the gold ones are a bit more because they're gold and they're amazing and yeah. Do you like them? I do. So again I got something from Depop. I am trying to sell stuff but I can't help but see things people are selling and buy them. So I got this leotard. I paid £6 for it which is amazing. I think they retail um, £25 to £30. I really like the Aztec design, the low back. I got these really cute Pamela Mann cat socks 
and they look so adorable on the website and because they're nude it just kind of looks like you've got a cat on your foot the colour of like, the band doesn't look that flattering I think on my legs so I kind of didn't show those but these were $4.99 so after work I wandered into Primark because it's lovely and quiet it's tidy and I've got an hour of shopping time if needed and I saw this vest I thought it was really really nice I really like the print it's got these like birds and roses on it and this was only four pounds these trousers were 14 pounds I've posted them on my Instagram and so many of you were like they look really nice I'm surprised they're from Primark I know right they just look really nice and a lot more expensive than they are and they're nicely tailored they've got pockets at size so last month I went to Manchester and I did a photo shoot with X Paris and we also got to keep the clothes and we got an amazing goodie bag as well so I will show you some bits so this top is £18 I thought it was really really nice just a kind of clean cut white top and it had these like mesh details on the sleeves so I wore the top with these amazing trousers these are £22 and I just fell in love with tropical print I feel quite like good I am branching out of shorts and jeans and I'm trying trousers and this was £30 and it's so so flattering and it is a midi dress also got this play suit which was £25 it's got this really nice detailing on the where it sits across like your shoulders and collarbone and it's just really simple and tailored and pretty it's got pockets and I wore it with this black kimono which was £22 and it's just so nice and lightweight and it's sheer and it's lace and it's got tassels but these tassels aren't looped so you don't catch anything I also got these crochet shorts which were £25 which are just so so nice again there's pockets and I wore it with this jacket which was £30 and I love the whole kind of cord two piece and usually I get a top and bottom but it's quite nice to get a jacket with bottoms and then you can wear like a whatever top you want as well last month I was lucky enough American Apparel sent me yet more goodies and I am just so excited they are one of my favourite brands so I had to share it with you guys so I got this green shirt it is sleeveless and it's such a beautiful colour I have been sunbathing recently and this colour really brings out like the colour the tan in my skin it really complements my current skin tone and with this nail varnish as well I really really loved it and this was £38 I tried to find this top on their website and I could not for the life of me find it so I do not know the price of it but I like how it's a shirt but it doesn't have a collar it's got a nice twist on it there's this little bit at the bottom so you tie it up got two chiffon camis and these are both £24 they are sheer and I just love this colour and I also got one in nude the only thing is they crease so easily also got this leotard which was £40 but I was a little bit like oh my because at the bottom this is a thong version this skirt was £36 it is a midi white skirt it is bodycon and it is so flattering it's a pencil skirt and at the back it has a slit so you can actually walk and it is of a stretchy material anyway so it's not hard to walk in it at all I love this top it's so comfy this is £36 and I love the colour block of this I showed it on my Instagram and loads of you guys loved it I think it looks so cute tucked into high-waisted shorts or we can wear it over the top of leggings it kind of sits quite long on me so that is possible and I think these ones are unisex easy jean shorts I didn't know they existed till I got these these were £46 and they are really comfy they are high-waisted I was so thrilled when I got easy jeans because I have a massive love of easy jeans I've done videos like reviewing easy jeans and Joni jeans and River Island shoe pants I'll link below to that video and like for American Power disco pants I would size down because they'd stretch out and on the website they also kind of suggested that for easy jeans so that's what I did and this pair are actually a size bigger than my normal size so they're two sizes up from what I'd usually get I take everything I said back before either get your size or size up I think they've maybe changed the way they do the easy jeans because I went to the sample sale before and I bought some in what my size would be 
and they were quite loose compared to these actually. They now actually sit really high waisted on me which I always find things don't. As you size up they get longer so I had to roll the bottoms. I just keep seeing bloggers always posting amazing things in River Island. There is a lot of influence on me from bloggers and people I love on Instagram. So I got this amazing blazer. This is £45. I did try and find it because before I do my haul videos I get all the links so I can put them in, in the description and also I want to make sure I got all the prices right. But I couldn't find it on the website so sorry guys I can't link this for you. It's just such a nice fit. The shoulders are slightly padded. It's just such a lovely colour. I've been wearing this a lot. Managed to find the palm print River Island top, but it was not in my size, but I got it anyway. And I wear it with that blazer and it kind of covers it up, so you can't tell it's too big on me. And also I think I'm just gonna get the size taken in so it fits. And I just fell in love with the print that I had to get it. I think these retail at £12. From Public Desire I got these shoes. I just keep hearing about this brand on Instagram so I had to check them out and these are only £27.99 which I think is amazing. And when I was in River Island getting those items I tried on a fair pair and their pair is actually really expensive and these are pretty much the same. I recently got them in black as well so be prepared to see that in my next haul. From Geek La Chic, I got the most amazing bikini. Look at the bottoms, they are so nice. For sizing, they asked what size I was, and in like on the bottom half, I usually go for a size bigger. And I'm so glad I did because I was trying to get those over my bum, but when I did, they fit really well on the waist. Um, but if you have a bum, hips, and a small waist, you might need to wriggle but they are stretchy so it is doable and oh, they also sell the bottoms just by themselves but I got the top as well and it's inspired by the mermaid Ariel. So the top looks like this, so contrasting colours either side and then a tie around the neck. These are handmade and this was £50. From them I got these amazing mermaid shoes. They are so nice, like look at this shell detailing on the heel. They are really high. Um, I did actually size up on these as they didn't have my size. I'm so glad I sized up because these fit perfectly. So if I did get my size I probably would have had squished toes. These are by Iron Fist and they are really nice. Like Iron Fist, I'm really liking their stuff at the moment. And this was £75. I got three items from the Australian clothing label The Fifth. And I don't know how much these are because these are samples that I got. I do believe though they will be sold on ASOS I think next month. I adored these shorts. I love the whole nautical theme of them. They're kind of like a boyish style. They're quite like boxy. The material's really nice. It's quite like thick so it holds a shape. It's quite structured. The high-waisted they're boyish but they're kind of cheeky at the back so they're a really nice balance and I'm gonna wear these so much. So I sold those shorts in a recent blog post with this top, so I'll link below. And I'm in love with this top, like it just looks like a simple black top. I wore it in my last video actually, my tattoos and piercings video, but this just sits really nicely. Also it's quite like a high neckline, but then it's got really nice low sleeves and it's quite a nice long length as well, so you can have it out, tucked in. So chic and simple. And this is my favourite top. I never thought I would love such a basic top so much. I just love the simplicity of this label's designs. I love the mild effect of this. They are little shorts and they've got pockets, low sides. So it's kind of like slightly oversized. Again, it's kind of like a bit of a boyish fit. But it's just so cute. It's just so well made and I really just love... It's simple, it's not overly done. The next items are from a company in America and they are called 24 Hours. And I love this top. If you saw this on Instagram, a lot of you thought it was also amazing. And on the front it says, be nice. And on the back it says, or go away. I think this is a great statement. And yeah, if you're not nice, then you should just go away, basically. And that top was $33. So 
This top is $51, lightweight, it's grey and it's knitted and the sleeves are so long I had to roll them up. This was $29, I think it's a great piece, it's just simple, it's black, it's kind of like edged up by these black studs. It's just a good kind of staple piece if you want to edge up an outfit. And I like the raw edges from where the sleeves once were. This glittery top was $29 and I really like the fit of this. I did size up a few sizes for this because I didn't want it like to be too tight. These shorts were $70. I love the contrast of the like faux leather which is quilted and runs along the back as well. The last item from 24 hours are these amazing black foil jeans. Again because I'm little I had to roll them. And the last items I didn't actually buy these I made these and I just wanted to show them to you because I'm really proud of them and you guys really like them on Instagram and stuff. I handmade this little crochet bralette I just wanted to show you guys because I was really really proud of them so I did a white one, black and white stripey one, pink one, black one somewhere but yeah I thought that was cool and I wanted to show you guys. So that was the end of my haul but do stay tuned because shortly I will soon have up the other part of my haul which is accessories and beauty. I hope you guys don't mind that I split it up just I didn't want it to be overly long and I thought you know not everyone always wants to see like makeup -y bits. If you like me separating up the videos and do let me know I do really appreciate your feedback because it's like you you guys kind of help my channel grow and the things I do now like filming the items on me I didn't used to always do but it's something I always really try and do now although I, I did say I don't think I could always do this guys but actually I completely see where you're coming from you want to see the clothes on so yeah I really listen to your feedback guys so I hope you did enjoy this please comment like and subscribe and thank you for watching Hi guys, so finally I am filming my tattoos and piercings video, the most popular video requested by you guys. So I'm going to start off with piercings because all I have is my ears pierced and I had those done when I was two. I swear I remember getting it done, I remember I didn't cry 